Well, earlier this week, we sat down with the president and CEO of the Charleston Black Expo, Darren Thomas, to talk about the impact this annual event has on local business owners. But this event wouldn't be complete without the famed Taste of Black Charleston, back for the first time in two years. Let's welcome Faith Alston. She's the owner <laughs> of Elegant Treats Bakery, which will be featured at this year's event. It's good to have you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. So let me start off right now by asking you what Taste of Black Charleston and what the Black Charleston Expo does for business businesses and business owners such as yourself. Um, I know for me personally, it highlights my business with me being a small business. It's a great platform to pretty much showcase your skills um, to everybody that comes out there. Small businesses really have it harder than other corporations. So to be able to get that spotlight under such a huge name as the Black Expo, it, it really does wonders for the business. Well, tell us more about your bakery. Um, Elegant Treats Bakery started um, pretty much from my home. I have 10 plus years of experience baking. And one day I was just like, I'm gonna turn my passion into a business. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I was blessed to open up this beautiful storefront that I'm sitting in. And within my business, I like to combine old school flavors with a modern twist. Oh, sounds delicious. Well, you're making me hungry <laughs> right now. And I'm sure you've talked right? to other uh, business owners, people in the hospitality industry, such as yourself, who are going to be part of the upcoming Taste of Black Charleston. So I'm curious what you've heard from them in years past or just being out and about, you know, what, what are they seeing right. in terms of trends for their business and particularly in the wake of COVID? I'm sure that was very difficult. Right. Um, I opened during the midst of COVID actually, and I, I didn't see myself opening during a pandemic, but you know, it worked itself out and I'm still here. But just hearing from other people in the industry is just keep going. This is this whole pandemic is just a wrench that got thrown into everybody's plan. But it's definitely how you how you work through it and overcome yeah. um, to the other side. So definitely just keep going, keep pursuing your dreams, no matter what obstacle comes in your way. That mentality that failure is not an option. A hundred percent. Not an <laughs> not an option, and you're doing and you're doing right. wonderfully today. So congratulations Thank on that. You. I just want to remind Thank everybody. You. So the Taste of Black Charleston. This is happening on Friday, March 11th. That's the day before the actual Black Expo. This is at the Exchange Hall in Latson, and you're featured there. Are you going to be giving demonstrations, handing out samples? Yes. So I finally have my theme picked. So I'm very excited about my display choice and my menu choice as well. So definitely y'all come on out and get your little taste of elegant treats. Oh, can't wait. I want to thank you so much for joining us and congratulations again on your business. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Everybody get out there March 11th. We're back. Yes. After this. <laughs> thank you.